Hi, welcome back. Great to have you. Rush Limbaugh behind the Golden EIB microphone. Give you another example. So last night, I'm watching... Uh, ah, hell. I'm just going to... I was watching Fox. And the subject of Obama's approval rating came up. The fact that it had plunged to 37%. It's okay, I'm going to listen to this because I had made mention of it yesterday. And I think it just as it's not being mentioned anywhere and it means something. He's at 37%. It means something. There's a reason for it. And it's an AP poll. The same poll that Wolf Blitzer couldn't get enough of when Bush was at 36% in 2006. So I'm watching them discuss it. Not going to mention any names. It's not the point. Not picking fights with anybody. I'm just telling you. So whoever was talking about this, the guest, member of the commentariat, well, it's probably not that low, really. It's probably an outlier poll. But it is low. I mean, it is down a little bit. Then... This person said, but this is not to say that the Republicans are not botching what they're doing. And I I sat up and I said, what? Catherine was sitting next to me. I actually, I shouted the F word at the TV. I said, shut up. Now, I don't do that anymore, folks. I did that 25 years ago. Cable News doesn't. I said, you're doing a story or you're doing a mention on Obama's approval plunging at 37. And the point is, well, probably not that low. It's not a little bit. And then you got to rip the Republicans. And not the ri- you got to rip Cruz. you got to rip Lee. And you got to throw in, it's not, it's, not, it's not the Republicans are doing anything right here. It's not the, 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 just had to get the establishment version of the Tea Party is dangerously off the rails here. And it just, I don't know, boy, it just, it just, it just made me mad. I don't know what else I'm trying to say. Just simple terms, it just made me mad. And I, I said, these, they don't understand. Even the people inside the Beltway, ostensibly, and I said, don't even understand what's going on in the country. They're, there are clear majorities of people who don't want anything to do with Obamacare. They don't like what's happening at healthcare.gov. They don't like what they're learning. They don't like what they're seeing about it. They don't like the experience. It doesn't work. Uh, it's it's an invasion of privacy. It, it's it's it, hardly anybody in great numbers is signing up for it. It's an absolute debacle. And the people in the country are hungering for somebody to represent them and do something about it. Rather than say, well, it's the law of the land. and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's. This is real life that we're talking about here with real, real hard results on people. What this law and if if this thing gets fully implemented out there, and people then start to be destroyed by this, they're not going to just blame Obama. At some point, all of Washington is going to be lumped into the people responsible for this, because. It has been obvious for the last month that there is a clear effort being undertaken to do something about this. And it's also obvious that there is not a whole lot of help coming for the people who are trying to do something about this. And yet, massive majorities of people want something done about Obamacare. It's, it's going to destroy things. It's going to destroy people's futures. It's going to destroy, and not everybody. Of course, nothing ever destroys everybody. There will be people who benefit from it, and that's going to make people dissatisfied as 